how are we doing? It's another week. I don't know why, but in this light, I look really, really brown. Um, I have caught the sun a little bit recently, but uh, I just look particularly brown in this light, so sorry. Um, but hopefully that's okay for you guys. How are we? I hope you're okay. Um, and today, I hope you're ready for a whole new weighted workout. So we're going to be using our weights throughout this workout today. So you need to go grab them. However, I do suggest using pretty light weights today. So I've got my light ones today um, because we're going to be doing quite a lot of movement with them and it can be quite challenging and tough and you can burn out quite quickly if you're using your heavy weights. But if you want to challenge yourself, by all means, go heavy. Just don't injure yourself. Make sure you look after yourself. So if you are starting to feel a little bit of pain or too many achiness, then please go back down to the lighter weights. You can change halfway through. That's not a problem. But if you maybe want to start off with the lighter weights, then that might be better. See how you go. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a five minute warm up to, as usual to make sure we're nice and warmed up and ready to go. Then I have six different exercises. And for each exercise, we are going to work for 40 seconds on and have 20 seconds off. So our usual really when we're working hard and we're getting a short recovery time and then we're going to go again. So we'll do each exercise twice before moving on to the next one. And we'll finish with a five minute cool down at the end as well. Is that all good? Happy? Do we make sense? Cool. You'll have to excuse me. I have got um, quite bad hay fever today. And I have taken a tablet and everything and it's still not helped. So it's just one of those days, high pollen count, you know, going with the flow. So if I sound like I've got a cold, I'm really sorry. I'm not ill. I've just got blooming hay fever. It won't go away. So very sorry. But hopefully you can understand me and you can hear me all right as well. All right. Are you ready? Should we start off with our five minute warm up? Get going. Why not? So we're going to start off with some hand cycling. So all you're going to do is you're going to pretend you're on a hand cycle and you're just going to cycle all the way. So you're going to go both arms together at the same time. Well, if you want to do all turn hands, you can do whatever you find easiest. And relax those shoulders and get those hands moving. Really good job. Just keep cycling, just keep cycling. Do you really do Really good job, get those arms going. You've done about 30 seconds now, so if you want to just start speeding up even faster, you might want to make sure those circles get maybe a little bigger as you go faster. That's you. Really good job. Keep it up, you've got 10 seconds left. Nice. Keep those cycling going. Three, two, one, and rest those arms there. Well done, shake out those arms. Make sure you're nice and loose. And we're going to go straight onto our reaches with the side bend. So you're going to reach to one side, then the other. Really good and switch over. Ten on the other arm. One, 
two, three, four, Oh, that really good job. Nice. Take it all out. Make sure you're nice and loose. And we're just going to finish our warm up portion. I'm going to stretch it now. You're going to sit nice and soft, relax on your shoulders for me. And all you're going to do is look nice. So, right, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Really good. So, good. Five. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted because I have never seen so many crows just fly over our house. I don't know what's happening, but they're all like charging into the same tree and going crazy. It's making a racket. But uh, well done, guys. That is your warm up complete. So sorry, I was a little bit distracted there. Grab a quick drink. And we'll get ready to go on to our first exercise. So you need to grab your weights for me. So we're going to go on to some chest squeezes first, pec squeezes or chest squeezes, whatever you want to call them. So what we're going to do is you're going to start off in that 90 degree angle that we normally do for our um, shoulder presses. And then all you're going to do is you're going to bring those elbows together and then open them out again, together and then open them out again. So as you can see, it's what we normally do for our pec squeezes, um, but this is with weights instead. So it's a little bit more challenging and hopefully you'll work these muscles in here nice and hard and feel the burn. So we're gonna go for 40 seconds on, remember, and then have a 20 second rest. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and off you go. Really good, in and out, in and out. You don't have to touch those elbows together, but if you keep them in and come out as nice as possible, then it's great. Also, try and keep your elbows level with your shoulders at all times. We don't want anyone dropping down here. We want to keep them up. It will work your arms even harder. 10 seconds left. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest there. Well done. That's 40 seconds. Cool, oh, that is actually quite tiring. I'm, I'm quite surprised myself that that's good. I like that. It feels good. And it feels like I've worked my arms hard. But it is a short rest, remember? So we're going to go again in five seconds. It'll be the same thing. Three, two, one, and off you go. In and out. Nice. Halfway through, you've done 20 seconds now. Oh, I feel the burn already. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Keep it up really good. Three, two, one. And you can rest your arms there. Well done. Whew. I really did feel that burn in there. Like, whew. I feel like I need to get loosey goosey again. <laughs> Grab a great drink, guys, and then we're going to go on to exercise and number two. Ooh. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> if I start sneezing, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> okay, so for exercise number two, we're going to go on to our weighted punches now. So, this is why I want you to have light weights because it's a lot easier with light, uh, light weights instead of going really, really heavy. So all you're gonna do, like our normal punches, you're gonna have your elbows in, and you're just gonna punch out in front, right and left, with each weight in each hand. So you hopefully, your arms are being challenged that little bit more because they, they've got a weight on them. Simple as that, it's harder with a weight. 
You can go as fast or as slow as you like with the punches. Um, but just work her nice and hard. So three, two, one, and off you go. Right then left, right then left. Punch, punch, punch. Go, go, go. Relax those shoulders when you've got a weight in your hands. Don't want them up here, you want to relax. Halfway through. Really good. Nice, keep it up. <laughs> and you're going to rest in three, two, one, and rest there. Well done, really good. So you've got 20 seconds rest. How did you find that? Was that all right? Hopefully it was. I like these ones. Raging punches always challenge you that little bit more. So we're going to do that again. Same thing for 40 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and off you go. Nice. There's no rest for the wicked in this workout today. <laughs> Go, 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 guys! You're smashing it. Boxing, boxing. Go, go, go. Halfway through, you've done 20 seconds. Really good job. Keep it up. Final 10 seconds now. And we get a rest. Nice. Three, two, one and rest your arms there well done really good job well done guys that is two exercises complete we've got four more to go grab another quick drink and then we'll go on to the third one feeling stiff but good okay so for the third exercise you're actually only going to work one arm at a time for this um because it's quite difficult to do two arms and keep your balance and all that. So you can only you only need to use one weight at a time. I'm just gonna pop that one down. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna turn your arm inside out. So you're gonna have your palm, your sorry, your fist to your face, and your palm facing outwards with your weight in your hand. You're gonna keep that elbow nice and high and try and keep it level with your shoulder as much as possible. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna move this forearm. You're gonna move it up and down. So your elbow stays still. But your forearm moves, so you're going to go up, down, up, down. And we're just going to do that for the 40 seconds, nice and controlled. So three, two, one, and off you go. I call this the reverse tricep extension. It's slightly different to how we normally do it. Really good though. Hopefully you've got in the right angle. Nice, you're halfway through. Keep it up, Ricky Kid guy. Really good. Couple more seconds left. Three, two, one. And you can rest that arm there. Well done, really good. Did you feel that? That should work your tricep muscle, which is in the back of your arm here. Hopefully you felt that. It will It will work a bit of the bicep as well, but mainly going to be the tricep. Oh, that is right. See? And so we're going to do the same thing but this time on the other arm. So we're going to switch over. It'll be the same thing. You have your palm out and your um, fist to your face. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. And down. Really good. Obviously, try not to whack the face with the weight on your face. That would be awful. Really good. Keep it up, really strong, guys. Up and down, up and down. Ten seconds left. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest your arm there. Well done. I felt that burn by the end. I really feel like kicking in. 
grab another drink guys that is exercise number three complete and we'll go on to number four now shortly trying to keep it moving as much as possible today just so we really keep those muscles engaged and we don't let them get cold that's when we get injuries so not good all right guys so we're going to go on to our weighted flies next now these are quite tricky to do um, and hopefully you'll be able to balance but I'll give you alternative options if not. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your hands out in front of you and you're just going to open those arms out with the weight and then come back in front of you. So out and in, out and in. Once again this works on your pecs muscles but also your arm muscles as well anyway. Um, if you're struggling to balance with your arms both out in front with the weights then what you can do is you can do this one arm at a time. You can just open one arm out at a time and then halfway and then for the second set, sorry, you can switch over and do the other arm. So we work each arm fairly. Happy? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I've got to get my balance. And we're going to go in three, two, one, and off you go. Really good. Try and relax that neck. And then a few people. We use the neck to overcompensate and balance. Really good, halfway through. Nice, looking strong. Ten seconds left. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done. Tell you what, that takes a lot of concentration for me. I'm concentrating on keeping my balance. I'm concentrating on my breathing. I'm concentrating on the exercise itself. Lots to think about. But we're gonna go again for the second time. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and off you go. I forgot to say, if you did one arm, then you're gonna switch over and do the other arm this time, sorry. Really good. Nice. Oh, this is working me so hard. I can feel the burn. 15 seconds left. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest there. Well done. Oh, I can really, really, really feel that in my arms today. That is kicked in. <laughs> Grab another drink, guys, and then we'll go on to exercise number five. There's only two more exercises to go. So we're nearly there. <laughs> oh, you're smashing it, like, working so hard. I'm struggling to keep up with you. But this is a common exercise we know a lot now and we know very well, very familiar exercise for us. We're going to do the shoulder presses. So all you're going to do is you're going to have your arms up at a 90 degree angle. You're going to push those weights up to the sky and then come back down to that 90 degree angle. Push up and down. If you struggle with balance then you can also do this one, one arm at a time as well. If that's easier for you. Up to you. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and off we go. Really good. Up and down. Ooh, my arms are clicking. Ten seconds left, keep it up really good. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done, really good job. We've got 20 seconds to rest and then we're gonna go again. If you did one arm, you're gonna switch over and do the other arm this time. You know the drill, guys. They're all good. All right, you ready to go again? 
three, two, one, and off you go. Oh, and again. Really good. Strong. Halfway through. And then seconds. Really good. Push those weights up. Let's go. Nice. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done. Really good job. Ooh. I can really feel. The way it's kicking in my arms now after five exercises. Got one more to go though, so grab a quick drink and then we'll finish with our last one. And this time we are gonna do weighted arm raises. So you can either do this one arm at a time or two arms. I'm actually not sure if I can balance with two arms which way. So what you're gonna do is you can have your weights down by your side and all you're going to do is bring them up to level with your shoulders. You're going to raise them up and down, up and down. And all you're going to do is just relax those shoulders. You don't want them up here as you pull up. You want them down and relaxed. We're going to do this for 40 seconds again. Are you ready? So three, two, one, and off you go. This is quite good because it will engage whatever core muscles you do have. So if you're trying to build them up, this is a good exercise to do. Really good. Halfway through. Yeah, good work, guys. And down. Three, two, one, and rest those arms there. Well done. Really good. You got 20 seconds to rest. And then guess what? We're doing it for the final time, and this is the final exercise. So after that, you will have smashed this workout. So are you ready to go for the final time? Three, two, one, and off you go. Really good, you got 10 seconds left now. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Well done guys, really, really, really good effort. Got good news, you can now put your weights down. You haven't put them down all workout. So give those arms a rest. Whew. My arms feel a lot lighter without weights means I've worked them hard. So just grab a quick drink for me though before we do our five minute cool down. And just take a time to recover. You've absolutely nailed that guys. It's been really good. I've never drunk so much water in one workout, I don't think. Feeling very thirsty. And I think hay fever doesn't help because you just want to drink more because you get a dry throat. So really, really good job. Thank you so much for joining me for that, guys. We've uh, worked hard with those weights. I wanted to do a weighted workout like that for a long, long time, so I'm glad I've finally done it with you guys. Um, and hopefully it's beneficial for you. But before we finish, guys, don't go anywhere. We're just gonna finish off with our five minute cool down just to make sure we're nice and stretched out so we're not sore later, because we probably would be if we didn't do this. So all you're gonna do is your arm rolls first, 10 backwards on each arm. So one, two, Three, nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more on this arm. Ten. Well 
London and switch over, turn on the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good job. Shake out those arms, make sure you're nice and loose. Then you're going to have your arms straight, cross it across your body, and just hold it there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax, well done. And switch over, same with the other arm, hold it there, one, two, three, Our triceps, which we've worked hard today, you're going to reach up, drop the arm down behind your back, and put it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch that around. Well done. Same with the other arm, stretch up, drop it down, and put it across. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stretch out and round. Well done, really good job. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch our forearm here. So all you're going to do is going to have your hand up and you're just going to gently pull that hand towards you. Not too far. Hold it there. One, two, three, four. Keep that arm straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And same with the other hand. Out straight and pull that palm back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, really good. And relax. And we're now just going to finish off with our neck stretches. So you're going to sit nice and tall, relax those shoulders. And you're going to tilt your head to the side and gently hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. And switch to the other side. Hold it there. One, two, three, four. And then all you're going to do is just shake your roll out for me, make sure you're nice and loose. But if there's any other stretches you feel you need to do, especially after a weighted workout like that, where you've worked your muscles so hard, um, please go ahead and do them. Don't let me stop you. Stretching is so important. So if you want to stretch for another five minutes, please do. Go for it. Um, but other than that, well done, guys. Thank you so much. Grab a quick drink. And that is another workout to add to our collection. So tick, well done. Very, very good job. Very proud of you all. And thank you so much for joining me. It's always so fun to do these workouts. So I'm loving it. I still haven't stopped loving it from two years ago. So thank you so much. And I hope it really helps you. And I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have. Um, let me know how you feel. Let me know how you get on. Uh, and don't forget to keep commenting, liking my posts, liking my my videos and sharing them around share them with your friends and family the more people we reach the better and if you're a regular watcher of my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get notifications when i release a new one as well because you don't want to miss out that would be a disaster but other than that well done guys go have a nice rest and i'll see you again next week for another one of ella's wheelchair workouts have a good week see you soon